There's that side view that I love so much. Wait. Cyrus, don't do this. You're better than this. Look at me. Look at me, Cyrus. This isn't you. I'm just gonna keep picking the middle one like I did before. Again, your figure, immaculate. Just had to say it. Hello everybody, and welcome back to Obscura. I have been thinking about this game all week. I need it in my bloodstream. Let us continue. We are on Cyrus's route, oh my gosh. Why that says unsettling? I don't know. Let's continue though. I can't wait to find out what happens next with our lovely Cyrus. What did we leave off last time? I I remember, I promise. Um Hmm. I think we kept visiting the church or whatever. Well we met this thief guy and then we met this uh soldier guy, I think. Um we ended up going to the church after meeting the thief guy, and then we kept going back to the church. And Cyrus told us he might have our cure, but he is most likely lying because we love liars. And this is like, what, the third day we've been in here? So, yeah, let us begin. That same church is empty. The next day I step inside. There's nothing but the echoes of my own calls for Cyrus and the flicker of the candles around the statue. For a while, I simply wait in front of the altar. Five minutes turn to ten, which turn to twenty. At this point, I'm pacing around the candles, wondering where he is. Didn't he say he might have some information today? Right? <laughs> Curiosity and boredom take me to the... To the back of the church where i've seen ornate doorways lead to who knows where maybe they're his chambers let's wait a minute half of me wants to go in then the other half is like stop being that way that's when i hear it the muffled shouts of the left door is slightly ajar and as i peek past it as discreetly as i can muster I finally catch a glimpse of Cyrus, and he's not alone, unfortunately. He looks angry! Oh my gosh! Ooh. There's a strange tension in the air, one far more prominent than yesterday, and it dawns upon me and as I lean further against the wall that he's genuinely angry. That's what I caught too. I'm smart too. The usual smooth, silken tone of his voice is raised towards the person in front of him. Damn, what did this person do? I don't know who it is, but they have their hands raised defensively. And their words come out with much difficulty. Dude, but I promise, please, please, just give me one. Just give me time to do what? That is not good enough. The venomous hiss makes me jump. I never expected to hear this kind of ink coming from a priest, of all people. <gasps> On holy grounds, no less. Scandalous. I can't speed up the process. Not anymore. They'll be on to me. Something happened. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Show me that. <laughs> Alright, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> He says, show me that you're sorry. I wonder how they're gonna do that. I wonder. Sorry, I'm really excited. I can't wait to see what happens, oh my gosh. I'm on the, the edge of my seat. A shiver runs down my spine. What is happening right now? Something not good for them, but in my brain it's like, I would love to be in this position. 
Cyrus expectantly hands the person in front of him something that gleams in the candlelight, pale and deathly. <laughs> Never mind. I take back what I said. It's a blade. My body immediately tenses at the sight, and my heartbeat skyrockets. I have to do something. This is not our problem. This is their fault. Whatever they did, that's on them. Is it even safe to interfere? What do I do? Nothing. Oh! Confront Cyrus. Uh, I'm gonna interfere. I'm, I'm a good person, you know? Uh, I really didn't want to, but I want to see what happens. Wait. Cyrus, don't do this. You're better than this. Look at me. Look at me, Cyrus. This isn't you. My body moves out into the open before common sense can stop me. Both of them immediately whip around, taken out of their moment. And as the other person raises, raises their knife with trembling hands, I realize I messed up. Wait. Drop it. Sure. Said the person in their head. The clatter of metal on the ground makes me exhale in relief, but not for long. Cyrus steps around the trembling figure, then slowly makes his way towards me. <laughs> We're still doing that? I thought he'd be mad, but looks like he's not. My star. He starts, mouth set into a frown. My first instinct is to step back, fearing the consequences. My morals are stronger and keep me rooted in place. What is going on in here? Why? I don't have the context, but I'm filled with bitter, with the bitter sting of betrayal nonetheless. Betrayal? How could someone as seemingly kind as him just turn around and take advantage of someone so clearly out of it? Why are you threatening this person? What even degenerate? <laughs> Cyrus's voice turns back into a warm, comforting one I've always heard. But right now, I don't know if I trust it. I'm controlling you. You shouldn't be here, my star. I'm simply taking care of some sensitive matters. You have to understand. Sensitive matters, really? You gave him a knife. One that he was going to use on himself. On himself? He pauses. Was he not? I think you have the wrong idea. What I gave to him was not a weapon, it was a ritual dagger. Okay. One used in an elaborate dances and rituals of repentance. Okay. I'm left utterly speechless. I stare at Cyrus, then back at the trembling person. When I ask them if it's true, they nod. I think I should leave. I think you're staying right where you are. Really? When I gaze back up at the priest, he's smiling in a way that gives me chills. Leave for now, we'll continue this later. Who was he dismissing? Oh, okay. Just read. He dismisses the shivering person without so much as a glance in the direction. They immediately obey and scuffle off. I apologize, I didn't know it was a weird dance. But then again, was it really? Then the door shuts behind us, and when I ask why Cyrus is locking it, he gives me no answer. I don't think he needs an answer uh needs to give me an answer. I don't care. He tucks the key away in a pocket, and with that there's no way out. Uh oh. When I refuse to look up at him, his fingers grasp my chin with surprising strength and force <laughs> and force me to meet his masked gaze. Do you make it a habit of snooping around and eavesnapping like this? Usually I don't have to. When I heard shouting, you poor thing. I know. I'm so, you know, just weak and all that stuff. The smell twists cruelly. I did keep you waiting for a while. Bro. Scam calls. It's crazy. <laughs> did you? 
how did he know <laughs> oh my gosh did you miss me i would say i did yes i'm not sure what's making my heart race faster right now the adrenaline or the fact that he's so close how close like this close this close this close <laughs> no matter i'm going to teach you some manners listening in on important conversation is very very naughty i'm not regretting my decisions anymore he steps even closer completely suffocating me with his presence so this close I, I don't know, like, uh, <laughs> what, I, uh, um, oh, okay. Have you ever been punished before, my star? What? Punishment? Yes, I'll think of something adequate for a little eavesdropper like you. I barely heard the conversation though. But you know what? I'm gonna stop talking. Right? And whatever he thinks of, <laughs> I will accept. I do not care. <clears throat> <clears throat> of course, since it is your first infraction, I'll go easy on you. But penance is of utmost importance down here. And I think you'd best keep. That soul of yours, unblemished. Huh? How do you blemish a soul? I feel something inside me shiver at the thought. Where? His words sound like the most delicious promise. One that I'm all too happy to help fulfill. Look at that. Great minds think alike. Oh! We made it. Yes. Yes, I'm... <laughs> Wait, was there a question? Hush, little star. As much as I enjoy the sound of your voice, you really do talk too much. Damn. Everybody's been saying that. <laughs> the last episode, I heard that like, what, three times? He takes a step back, finally allowing me a bit of personal space. Then he immediately turns around and makes his way to one of the minimalist wooden shelves in the corner of his room uh oh kind of kind of excited you know i'm a different kind of person you know don't be surprised there's barely anything in here save for sleeping arrangements and some storage the shelves on the other hand are crammed full of jewelry books and small neatly labeled vials it's the vials he's aiming for as a long digit reaches out to brush over one of their corks. Uh oh. Don't tell me it's like an aphrodisiac or something. I'm wary of his every move. And when Cyrus is back in front of me, two of the mysterious vials in hand, I tense up. There's that side view that I love so much. Mm hmm. I'm aware the situation may have you a little on edge, but I need you to trust that this is for your own good. You're right. His expression falls, and in, the, in that moment, I wish I could see his eyes. What would I find if I looked deep within? How artistic. But the more I think about it, the less I understand. Please. What? For the, for the first time I hear him beg me. It's a completely alien feeling. <laughs> what do you have there? I try my hardest to keep my voice neutral as I speak. Cyrus pops one of the vials open with nimble fingers, releasing a sudden waft of a strong honey-like aroma. A smelling salt? What's going on? Goingly sweet, almost coating the back of my throat from the smell alone. That's what that does. I think we're staring at each other now. The intense, <laughs> the intensity of it makes my hair stand on the end. Raise your mask and open your mouth. What else am I gonna do? 
I'm surprised they gave me the choice. Um, obey. Are you serious? The door is locked. He has the key. Come on. This at this point, we're being more smart than we are dumb. So, yeah. I hardly understand myself right now. I may as well have asked one of the thieves to watch over my purse. But something tells me Dar Cyrus. Almost says something else. But something tells me Cyrus doesn't want to kill me. No, if he did, he would have done so earlier. How confident. His intentions, although I fail to understand them, are not evil. So I undo the clasps of my of the mask, then tilt my head back, lips parted. Did you like that? Hmm. There's my answer. Perfect. So very perfect. Such an obedient little thing. Why did I s stretch out obedient? He approaches, and the first trickle of liquid hits my tongue. The nectar is just as thick as the initial smell, but now that it runs over my taste buds, I'm overwhelmed by the flowery, syrupy aftertaste. I feel it sticking to my lips like a glaze, and when it continues pouring, it trickles down my chin. It doesn't taste bad, but... <laughs> Something feels off. As the liquid settles in my stomach, I feel strangely aware. Aware of everything. I'm gonna say I was right about it being an aphrodisiac. I think it's appropriate for someone of his ness, you know? The way my nails scrape over the skin of my palm, the way my chest expands with every new breath, the fragrance of the incense, and how it clouds my mind. I promise you, it's just temporary. Okay. He speaks in a soothing, measured way. What's temporary? Cyrus, <laughs> Cyrus's hand, hand rests on my shoulder and while I feel every single digit through the cloth, the sensation of him trailing those fingers down the length of my arm should just elicit a small shiver. Instead, it feels like a sharp, cold wave that borders on actual pain, taking me entirely off guard. Just a little, little jolt. My breath catches in my throat, and even that feels like an overload of sensation. Like claws digging through my lungs. Oh. <laughs> I love the comedians, they're nice. They're real... Nice. This. There's affection lingering under the cruel curves of his lips. And it takes everything in my power to not make any sudden moves. Now, the sooner you complete your task, the better. You'll see. It's not too difficult, and the Lunar God will be so very pleased with you. He's taking his time, walking in slow circles around me, observing me. You're going to do so wonderfully. I hope so. I notice amidst my panic that the second vial in his hand contains uncooked rice, but why? Uncooked. His thumb pries the cork off the top, and with a tilt of the wrist, he empties the contents of the vial, showering the wooden floors in tiny pale grains. Ugh, am I gonna have to pick these up? I hate that I feel afraid to ask what's, what it's for. Gladly. He doesn't even have to say all the other words. He just has to say knees. And I'm down. He whispers. Ooh, and, 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 and it was a whisper? And I know it's not an order I can defy. Yeah, they're not giving me a choice. But the moment my knees reach the floor, the rice digs into my skin and I instantly understand. My legs feel like they're on fire. Oh, I thought I had to pick them up. That's gonna- that would be dumb. The individual grains push further into my knees, and with a muffled curse, I try to- I, <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I could imagine. I try adjusting my position. What the- <laughs> What is this? Just as I shift to look up, the sight of Cyrus holding an actual- Uh, 
Just as I shift to look up, the sight of Cyrus holding an actual leather flocker makes me release a strangled sound I didn't know I was capable of making. Easy there, easy. I'm not a horse. You're going to do it yourself, so it won't be so bad. After all, you're the one who must repent. Her E is dropping, I get it. I get it. I take a deep, careful breath. What if I refuse? No. Cyrus chuckles, but it's devoid of warmth. Then I suppose I have to take matters into my own hands. <laughs> Please give me the choice. Can't have my little star ruining their chances. Of? Do it yourself? Have Cyrus do it? <laughs> we all know which one I'm gonna pick, so let's just get it over with. <laughs> what if I want you to do it? Then I guess he's gonna do it. Damn, my face hurts from smiling so much. Let me... Let me loosen it up. Okay. My own voice surprises me, and I feel my face heat up under the mask. His expression is utterly indecipherable, until a strange grin tugs at his lips. Sweet little star. His voice thickens. <laughs> well, you don't know me, bro. Time to start getting to know me. I didn't take you for a masochist. You never asked. Damn. We're twins. We're the same person. <laughs> I'll be sure to reward you, honestly. Plenty. With what? More rice? Oh my gosh. Because <laughs> what was happening? Oh, that's me. That's me. And that's Cyrus. Evan. He handles the flogger with an experienced grin. And it doesn't take a genius to see he's done this plenty before. That's why I told him to do it. I know you do it. I know. I'm not stupid. All I can do is stare at the tail swaying around and prepare myself for impact. <laughs> Ten! Don't underestimate me, bruh. Fifteen. Hey, yo! I'm gonna suggest fifteen. Cause it's not twenty. And it's not ten. It's right in the middle there. Nice, comfortable number. I close my eyes. But no amount of deep breaths or mental preparation ready me for the impact between my shoulder blades. God damn. This is starting to remind me of like wire. How about this? What? The tentacle reeled back and smacked me across the back again. <laughs> Round two. Ah! He was mean with it, so it's different. It's completely different. My vision goes white as mild shattering pain explodes all over my back. It's unlike anything I felt before. And it takes everything in me not to scream. Don't be a coward. The next hit comes sooner than expected. Just a few s What? S what is that? Oh, a typo. That's what it is. Just a few centimeters lower, enough to rev revive the precious surge of pain. Alongside that, the rice continues to dig further into my knees. The rice, bro. This time, I scream. <laughs> Perfect. Suffering for your wrongs and completely letting go. What a wonderful sight. I would think so. Another two hits of the flogger make me choke back sobs. <laughs> really? I I don't know what to say like thank you I'm so proud of you thank you he remembers a few words in a language he didn't even say it in a language I understood that's not fair I read it though it was English he remembers a few words in a language I don't understand under his breath oh that's separate then from what he said I gotta start reading. 
giving me a moment to curl up and brace myself for the next hit. How many is that? Osiris isn't having it. <laughs> Damn. Set up to generate. When I refuse to budge, still trembling with the aftershocks of pain, his fingers hook into the collar of my cloak and tug. Aggression. They pull up further and further, and before long, I'm gasping for air and clawing at his hands. Uh-oh. He said, sit up. My struggling only serves to pleasure him further. Oh, please. I'm so sorry. <laughs> at this point, I'm desperate for all of it to stop. No. I nod and fight through the sensation until he releases my cloak, after which I fall back to my previous position on my knees. Everything aches deeply. There's six more to go. Damn. I can make it through. Just a, just need a bit longer. Ah! We got this. We got this. But the next hit comes far too soon. I'm screaming again. The force of it resonating in my vocal cords. Each individual tail flick leaves trails of fire streaming across my back. As the flocker traces a perf a figure eight across my skin, my throat tightens up. I feel warm tears dripping down my face. He takes a deep, satisfied breath. That's it. Was that the full ten? <laughs> Beg for forgiveness. Was it the full ten is the question. By the time I received the f Okay. Just read. By the time I received the final hit, my vision goes blurry, and I realize my senses are dulling again. A pleasant numbness washes over me. Darkness quickly engulfs my senses. I'm not conscious long enough to realize that my body has already collapsed to the floor. Mm. By the time I come to, I'm surrounded by the smell of cotton and feel something warm and soft on my arm. It's just the right lukewarm temperature, something like a damp cloth gently dabbing away the sweet and grime of on my skin. Oh, sweat. Whoops. I keep my eyes closed, fearing it might stop if I happen to open my eyes. The cloth is removed and I hear the sound of water dripping. When the sensation returns to my other arm, I almost exhale in relief. It feels so comforting that I'm tempted to drift off again. It's when the cloth runs up the side of my neck that my breath hitches. Are you awake, little star? Darn. <laughs> I decide not to respond. <laughs> His thumb crawls up the rest over the edge of my ear. And with a deliberate, slow, ghostly touch, he runs it around the shell until he reaches the lobe and gives it a pinch that makes something inside me tingle. Your body is betraying you. Open your eyes. Talk about playing dirty. Uh-oh. I shift on the mattress underneath me. Do all priests make it a habit to fondle their visitors during their sleep? <laughs> Mouthy from the moment you wake, I see. I bite back a response and take a moment to reassess my situation. The effects of the syrup have long since worn off, though I'm left with a little sensitivity sparking up here and there. Do you want some water? Yes, actually. His sudden kindness surprises me this time, and I nod in response. I didn't realize how parched I really am. Wait here. He might be my favorite. I might, I'll do the other characters, but he just might be just the favorite. I don't think anyone's going to beat him. And if they do, psh, that's just how it is going to be. <laughs> Cyrus quickly makes his way out of the room, leaving me alone and disoriented. I need time to organize my thoughts about that punishment, for example. After all, I now know for certain what kind of person Cyrus is. I need to deal with this to get the Accor. The structure of the ritual was comforting. It was very enjoyable. Uh... 
<laughs> the structure? What does that mean? Like the fact that there was rice on my knees and that he used a certain liquid to enhance the feeling? Was that it? I'm just gonna say it was very enjoyable. Can't believe I'm saying this, but it wasn't bad. Yeah, that's nothing. I feel like there's way worse things that could have been done. No, on the contrary. I feel freed of everything in that moment. Plus, he's giving us water? Aftercare? Yeah. I still feel a warm afterglow on my back, and I'm sure that if I saw myself in the mirror, it'd be reddened from each hit. The idea... The idea of having those kinds of marks, marks that almost labeled me as his, is really nice. I lower, <laughs> I lower my hood while it's while he's gone, allowing myself just a little freedom to move. I'm tempted to remove my mask, but it doesn't feel like the right time. I can't show Cyrus more of my face. He's seen enough. My head is still swimming as more questions continue to pop up, one after the other. I doubt that all followers of the Lunar God engage in this kind of behavior, unless the underground is a fair bit kinkier than I anticipated. Actually, not very surprising. But that still begs the question of why Cyrus is having me undergo this. Personal satisfaction? A genuine desire to follow some obscure commandments? Questionable morals? Probably the last one. Before I can come to any kind of conclusion, he's back with a tray carrying a pitcher of fresh water and what looks like... <gasps> Chocolate? Correct. Really? Chocolate. He hands me the little tray and I inspect the contents. This better not be spiked again. It won't be unless you give me a reason to. You're such a flirt. Stop it. Stop it. I'm not sure if he's joking or not. Reassuring. I take a swig of water, letting it soothe the back of my throat before I reach for the square of chocolate. It's dark, with an uneven surface. When I bite into it, I'm surprised by the hint of lavender and earl grey that melts in my mouth. Little grains are spread throughout the chocolate, and with each bite, they release a burst of flavor. Volunteers sometimes come help with food. And on the good days, there's leftovers. Could get used to this. Chocolate? Come on now. We sit in silence for a while until I set the platter aside and shuffle into a better position against the headboard. How's your back feeling? It's alright. You know? Actually, it feels kind of nice. It's not painful. Hmm. Hmm. Indeed. I'm having a hard time gouging his reaction I hope I said that word right then his lips tug into another calmer smile it's my duty to make sure you're alright yeah it's everyone's duty after doing something like that Sirs? that being said I have a question for you anything do I need any more aftercare <laughs> yes sir I want a hug That hurts. You know, it's... <laughs> Let me read the rest before I start telling the whole story. I want a warm drink instead of water. I want to be left alone. I want an extra blanket. Where I'm going to pick hug. Because literally I, I don't get hugged. So I would like a hug. I think I deserve one. I do. Silence follows, but surprisingly, Cyrus complies and seats himself at the edge of the mattress. Oh, fuck. This is hurting my heart, literally. When I reach my arms out for him, he reciprocates. I find myself leaning in, resting my forehead on his shoulder while his gloved hand rubs soothing circles <laughs> across my back. Don't cry. Don't cry. The scent of cotton seems to come from him, a surprisingly gentle one mingling with the incense and candle smoke that I've now grown so accustomed to. It's a strange feeling being so physically close to someone you're not entirely sure you trust. I don't care. 
But as we share bodily heat, and I feel the hard planes of his body against mine, I find myself lowering my guard. Eventually, our heartbeats match. All throughout our embrace, I never turn to look at him. I don't know what would happen if I did. We stay like this for a while. Didn't think you were one for hugs. People need physical touch. It's essential to our well-being. You said it. I don't think there's any shame in indulging that. He sure loves his roundabout answers. <laughs> After a few more seconds, I let go. Do you need anything else? Oh, okay, we can ask for more, but it's fine. I literally, that would have been enough. So, before I forget my star, I've got some news regarding the notes. Oh. <laughs> We're back here. All right. Let's get back into, you know, finding the cure for our weird curse or whatever. This makes me sit up straighter in attention. Really? Indeed. I'll be sending out someone tomorrow. And if all goes well, they'll be back with positive news. Can't we just go there ourselves? Cyrus seems apologetic. It's not very it's not a very safe place to be. I'd rather you stay here. You understand, right? They're doing it again. It, it happened again. But these all look the same. What's the difference? I'm just gonna keep picking the middle one like I did before. Again, your figure... Immaculate. Just had to say it. I'm glad. Why? Why did that not feel quite right? Because I picked the middle? Something at the back of my mind twists my words, distorting them as they leave my lips. I feel a cold sweat overtake me, even as Cyrus... Cyrus's hand helps me out of bed. How long have you had your diagnosis for? Two months. Two months? And you still have time. How long did this thing last? His hands brush the wrinkles of my hood and stay there for a while. Yeah, I think so. I'll keep you safe. So nice of you. For the first time, I hear something akin to desperation in his voice. A barely audible tremble. Promise. Good. This time, I choose to believe him. Best end. Cyrus will keep you safe. Dot, dot, dot. That was nice. I'm glad I did whatever I did. Literally, I do not regret any of my choices. All right, well, that was perfect. A perfect end. That was Cyrus's whole route or whatever. In chapter one, it was amazing. I literally couldn't ask for anything more or less. It was, I enjoyed it to, from start to finish. If you guys would like to see the other characters, um, what are their names? Pierre. What was that other guy's name? Damn, I forgot. The one we bumped into, and then... Because there's another person I didn't get to meet. So yeah, if you guys would like me to do those other people, please leave a like on the video, you know? And subscribe for other games just like this. And with that being said, I will see you guys next time.